this video. So appreciate your company and I hope that what I'm about to share with you is of interest and maybe you've noticed something similar about Phalaenopsis chilleriana. Let me tell you what my quest was for the season of 2021. I was going to maintain a Phalaenopsis chilleriana with three leaves, possibly four, if at all possible, but I was going for more than two leaves while the new leaf was growing and bringing out a second leaf. If I were then to lose a lower leaf after it grew a second leaf of the season, I would have considered it job done, result, and shared with you what I did. So, <laughs> you see two leaves, you see one leaf dying back, and if I can get in there, you'll see the second leaf of the season growing in the crown. Wonderful, lovely jubbly. You'd think that I have actually managed to achieve what I wanted to achieve with just a little bit of deviation because my leaf in the back is dropping. Well, no, I've already lost another lower leaf prior. And that kind of irritates me a little bit because I want my Phalaenopsis chilleriana to grow nice and long and lush and see if I can crack the code to maintain the older leaves on the plant while it produces roots as well as grows new leaves. So to clear this up, I have the Philippine variety. There is a Malaysia variety which grows much, much bigger as well, has a lot more floppier like Thumper style ears, Thumper the rabbit. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That Thumper. This is the Philippine variety, which will never ever get to the size of a Malaysian variety. So what I've read up about Phalaenopsis chilleriana is that they like it a lot more acidic around their roots. You can see that mine is potted up in Lekka and self-watering. So I am in control of what goes into the pot. This year, very, very early on, the moment my spike dropped its blooms, I started with CalMag as my main, main component in the pot at always 100 parts per million, 60 parts per million of calcium magnesium, 40 parts per million of seaweed at 5.6. Because prior to the orchid actually going into growth mode after dropping her blooms and absorbing her spike, I already wanted to counteract what it will do when it starts growing roots, because this is also very something that they do a lot, is when they start growing roots, a leaf will drop. They take the reserves out of the leaf. I wanted to counteract that. So let's raise you up a little bit, because we, all we're seeing is the side of the pot. Let's get you in a little bit closer. So yes, I counteracted by already pumping in the calcium and magnesium, the hormones of the seaweed, getting that into the orchid while she had still her two older leaves at the base. I wanted to at least save one of those while the roots were growing and not immediately start losing my back foliage, even though I've got active growth going on. It worked. It worked to a certain degree. The roots, especially this one, was growing. I could see activity around the base. They were growing. Again, this is the second lower leaf. My first lower leaf was still intact, looking lush, looking good. I was thinking this is gonna work, 5.6. I did put some MSU fertilizer in on occasions, you know, without nitrogen. You know, you can't just be putting calcium magnesium in the pot. They need other nutrients, but always at 5.6 because I wanted to make sure that my pot stayed a little bit more acidic as a test. I was really chuffed. I was gonna bring out my orchid and say, look what I managed to do this season. Well, I have been schooled by a Phalaenopsis chilleriana. Well, not only I have been schooled by other orchids as well, but hey, let's focus on Phalaenopsis chilleriana one at a time. <laughs> but yeah, it worked. Then a new leaf started and I still had my lower leaf thinking this is going to be good. I upped my fertilizer. I did not up my CalMag and magnesium because in my time frame, I'm thinking she's already had so much in the months leading up to this. Just keep going with the fertilizer. So my fertilizer increased, my CalMag reduced as a supplement, knowing that my fertilizer does have CalMag in it. So she was actually getting a double dose ever so often. The focus being on the CalMag, and that's why I kept supplementing and kept supplementing. 
But once the new leaf started back here, I started to up the amount of time I put my fertilizer into the pot. So it became a half and half. Two times I would fill up with fertilizer, two times I would fill up with cow mag and seaweed, but always alternating every time the reservoir was empty. I hope that makes sense. I know this is a chatty video and if you're still here, thank you so much. This is a bit of a geek moment because I've been working on this all summer. Then the first leaf, this beautiful thing here, started to grow to size and my first Chilleriana leaf in the back started to absorb very, very quickly. And I'm like, no, it was going so well. Why, why? Anyway, I still had the other leaf to baby. I did not up anything. There's only so much fertilizer you can pump into an orchid based on its growth. It is a species, it is a slower grower. I didn't want mineral deposits on my pot, but I kept maintaining that rhythm of, you know, pumping it up with the fertilizer and the CalMag. <sighs> We've come to this stage. I've got more roots growing in the pot. This is great. I've got my second leaf coming in the crown. That is great. I am losing my second lower leaf. Huh. I have to think that no matter what you do, unless somebody knows different and will let me know in the comments below, how to keep a Phalaenopsis Schilleriana to hold on to at least one of the two lower leaves while it goes into active growth. Would I need more calcium magnesium? Would I need more fertilizer? I can tell you since the blooms dropped and I started immediately with CalMag as opposed to fertilizer because in a way the orchid is, you know, resting. There is a phase with the Chilleriana that it kind of does nothing, not even in the pot, no root growth, but it's still photosynthesizing. So my preempting CalMag straight away with a growth hormone, um, it did work for the first two and a half months of when it started a new leaf. I had this one, I had the second back leaf, and I had the first back leaf all in one go while this one was growing. Yeah, and then Chilleriana did what Chilleriana does. <laughs> Drops leaves when there's more active growth. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you. Also to maybe start a discussion in the comments and ask, does your Chilleriana do the same thing no matter how you try to preserve the leaves that it's got? And if it doesn't, please let me know what you do. Bear in mind, lecker and self-watering. I'm in southern Spain. I have no humidity. I cannot mount this orchid. So please don't say you need to mount it and it'll perform better. If that is the solution, I cannot mount this orchid. That will not happen. I will just be happy that my orchid stays healthy in the pot and then keeps growing its foliage and then blooms for me. So mounting is unfortunately not an option in my climate. But if you have any kind of tip that says, no, I've got five leaves on my orchid and she only ever drops one because that's what Chilerianas do and you grow it in a pot, then, you know, let me know. Let everybody else know, maybe in the comments. That would be so cool. Personally, I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. I am going to do the same thing with the Chilleriana next year when the blooms drop. I may up the CalMag next year and then see what happens. <laughs> I consider this my Phalaenopsis Chilleriana phenomenon. It was a bit of a headache to pH down just for this one throughout the entire season, but it was worth the try. I got a little bit more life out of my lower leaves than I would have had in previous years. So let me just present this to you and see what you say about it. And if you grow Chilleriana, let me know what you think about it. Thank you so very, very much for watching, for listening to me jibber jabber about my somewhat successful experiment to hold on to as much foliage as possible and somewhat, yeah, I got schooled by a Phalaenopsis Chilleriana. They will do what they will do. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Appreciate your time. Please, please stay safe and take care. Bye.